have here is you've got a, uh, it's a Soviet U.S. system. This was developed before the FAA had any rules for how to fly U.S. Like in national problems. airspace. So we had a, it's a manned aircraft, it's a Cirrus SR-22, four-seater aircraft. We went ahead and installed all the command control stuff for, for you only have for U.S. system. And uh, so we've been testing that for, uh, by the time we got this thing going, you already had UAS take off and land. Kate Buddies was already out there. It's been developed. So we did not put that in our research system to keep the cost down. We had installations in flight that would have an algorithm running in the aircraft that would automatically deconflict from anything coming at it. So basically, you're flying together, the manned aircraft goes towards the UAS, it would take normal maneuvers to get away from it. We had algorithms developed that. That's what the initial system was set up for, which is the reason why it's kind of limited right now compared to what the UAS has. Um, but for this particular uh, experiment we're doing, it's good enough that we have control. The man over there in the blue shirt that's controlling the aircraft here from Langley, this is up, off and running the flight. Out to Taswell, he gets it lined up for approach on the airport. At that point, he transfers command to the pilot. The pilot will then land the airport. We're loading up with medical supplies right now. The pilot will then take off, get it up in flight once we've got good data link. We'll pass control over to uh, Lee Joyce over there, and we can command the aircraft just like a U.S. So it's an approach over here at uh, and finds which point the pilot will take over and land the aircraft. It's FAA approved hey. drone delivery in the United States, and Fleddy is privileged to be a part of it. President Sands of Virginia Tech just arrived. NASA's SR-22 is on the way with the pharmaceuticals, and the governor's helicopter is about to land. Today we're delivering 24 sets of medicine to, to patients who need it at the fairgrounds. Our, our plan is to run six flights with each flight carrying four sets of medicine. of delivery because they're flying robots that are autonomous. So I think that this is a vision of the future to come. Man told me not to touch the darn thing. The weight, uh, you're looking at about Matthew? I'm from Australia, so you're going to come from both bad. About 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's very light. Turn right around here. Especially if you're doing this. I'll let go. Right on around. 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 Yeah. 